wheel nights. Yeah, there's nothing like it, is there? Uh, the clash of wheels, the uh, anything can happen when they come together, Trev. Yeah. And uh, gee whiz, as you said, Ash Media, plenty of thrills and spills this week. 15, the journey, lightning sprints feature race time. Jimmy Kennedy leads the field off the front. Kurt Wilson on the outside. Round the outside goes Wilson, and he will lead down the back for the first time. Kennedy sits in second spot. Third at the moment is Luke Graham. Then we go back to the 49 machine there of Wayne Jukes. Here comes Scotty Genrich trying to look down the inside. Then we go back to Jaden Iacono. Uh, then it's um, Rowan Wells. We go back to uh, Harley Graham. And rounding out the field is the 33 machine of Young Seller. Meanwhile, Wilson, the Will Speed, number 16 machine, leads the way. Stretching the lead over Jimmy Kennedy in the Henchcraft sponsored car. Uh, uh, Luke Graham still back there in third spot. Wayne Jukes, Scotty G. Scotty Genrich tried to pass on Jukes a couple of laps to go and dropped a couple of car lengths and just hasn't been able to make that up. Oh, our race leader coming up on the back markers who are trying to sort themselves out. Aaron Seller gets out of the way. Harley Graham gets past the uh, Rowan Wells machine. And that's allowed Jimmy Kennedy to close in on the back of our race leader, but now Wilson gets around the Harley Graham machine and Kennedy's got it all to do again. Luke Graham now going around the outside of the back marker in uh, Aaron Seller. Scotty Genrich has finally got past Wayne Jukes and moved himself up into fourth. Now he sets sail after the third place machine of Luke Graham. Scotty Genrich on the charge in the Dolby Motorcycle Centre. Number 18 machine, Kurt Wilson. Trying his hardest to get this feature race victory. Jim Kennedy rolls through, chasing hard in the Henchcraft sponsor number seven. Oh, young Iacono, big flip and crash for Jaden Iacono in the Blatches Mechanical. Number seven, 21 machine. He got up over the back of the Wayne Jukes machine on the left rear, come down in the car, bicycled and flipped on the front straightaway. And plenty of damage on that car for young Jared Iacono. Wow, Macca, there have been I'm not, I've lost count how many guys have gone over wheels and flipped tonight. Well, yeah, it's been a bit crazy, hasn't it? Standing down in the grandstand for a change, Trev, taking I, I in the sights and the sounds. I just looked up there and went, where is he? <laughs> yeah, no, well, I can see you now. Down with the punters, mate. Um, actually, I'm just thinking that we're probably not going to be able to do the presentation for this, especially if our current leader ends up getting the chequered flag because he's in the next race as well. Yeah, true, true. So that probably won't happen. But anyway, I'm not pushing, putting anything on him. I'm just saying that that could be the case. Another so, fantastic night on the <laughs> open wheelers, as you said, Trevor. We absolutely love bringing the action to everybody here at Brisbane each and every Saturday night. Do trust you're enjoying it one more time, Brizzy, and of course, right around the world on Mix LR. Yeah, yeah, right around the world. We always forget about the um, our, our people on the web, Macca. Like, uh, it's, it's probably late night, early morning, uh, mid-afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Hope you're enjoying... Our coverage of our, of our open wheel night here. And I uh, hope the weather's warm wherever you are. <laughs> For some. Yeah. Have a go at the chunk of clay old mate's carrying back to put in the hole. Boom. Cop that. Replace all divots. Yeah. That's not a divot. <laughs> That's a bunker. Yeah, he's climbed out of the, uh, the machine and walked away. Round of applause, folks. Yeah, young Jared Iacono just walking across there with a... Uh, with one of our first aid workers. Looks like he's winded more than anything, just holding his, uh, just holding his stomach. You would uh, fully expect that that would be the case. That he's uh, got winded out of that. Oh, push cars. 
Handy track packers as well, Maga. <laughs> just roll that, just roll that three ton of clay in for us, will you? <laughs> he's up there in fourth, and he's keen to get on the podium. Wayne Jukes back there in fifth. Lou, uh, Harley Graham, and then Rowan Wells rounding out the field. Five laps to journey. Wilson to bring him back to the stripe. He backs him up through turn four, gets on the gas and gets a couple of car lengths over Kennedy as they get down into one. Plenty of sparks off the left front as Wilson just touches the binders on the way into turn three. Kennedy closed the gap a little there but just got it crossed up out of four. Then we go back to Luke Graham. Scotty G driving the wheels off the 18, trying to get that uh, final podium spot but Luke Graham at the moment doing everything he can to stay in front of the seasoned veteran. Still Rowan Wells at the back of the field. Kurt Wilson, the wheel speed, number 16 machine, rattles off another one. Oh no, our third place man is out. Luke Graham pulls the Stones windscreens, 27 machine on the infield. And that's handed third place to Scotty Genrich. Genrich now up into third. Sparks fly off the uh, left front once again for Kurt Wilson, but check it flag out. And Kurt Wilson will take the win. A much needed victory for Kurt Wilson and the team. The boys have been toiling hard to get that to happen. Kurt Wilson in for the win, second going. To the number seven machine of Jimmy Kennedy. You can make it quick, Trev. He's got Scott Formula 500 juniors between his races. And Scotty Genrich. No, no, they get home Scott. for third. No, no they're going to send him off. Yep. yep. Scotty Genrich home for third. So uh, a great job there by Kurt Wilson. We'll have to.